Hey everyone, Chris Barocci here. This is my latest video in my Gear Corner series. This time we're going to be talking about King of Tone versus Prince of Tone. Both pedals are built by Analog Man, an American boutique pedal maker. One made and built, hand built actually, in the USA. The other one hand built in China. I will compare the two pedals and I will focus on three sounds um, which are very relevant. I will go through the three modes of the King of Tone, clean boost, overdrive, and then distortion setting. I will set up the King of Tone and I will try to match that sound with the Prince of Tone. That's gonna be interesting. Before we start, two things. First of all, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell. This way you won't miss any new videos coming up on this channel. And the second thing is I always have um, info, gear info and gear links in my description box underneath the video. The first sound is gonna be the overdrive setting on the King of Tone. That is the standard sound. That is the King of Tone sound, what most people um, enjoy and know. And that's the reason why most people also buy uh, a King of Tone. Prince of Tone has more gain. It's the same OD setting and uh, still my gain knob on the Prince of Tone is just above 12 o'clock and on the King of Tone on the normal gain side I'm pretty much at 3 o'clock, almost 3 o'clock. And that makes a lot of sense because Analog Man also says on the website that the Prince of Tone is basically the higher gain option King of Tone clone. And that's funny because I do have one side of my King of Tone is the higher gain, higher option. Uh, so uh, we will get to it uh, when we get to the distortion sound. I hear some tonal differences, even though if you just crank, you know, just play a, an A chord and play, you know, go back and forth, it's pretty much the same thing. Let me, let me show you that. This, um, I'll start with the King of Tone. And the Prince. That is my amp sound, by the way, no pedals are on right now. King of Tone. A good player playing both of these could definitely fool me in a blind test. I'm, I'm pretty sure about it. When you play, you sort of feel the difference more. Let me play something dynamic and uh, stick to the same lick and play it then with the other pedal too. So let's start with the um, King of Tone.
I don't know, 90%, 95% the same. It's just something, some sort of an airiness to the King of Tone. I'm not here to say that's worth the extra trouble of getting one. I'm just saying what these guys here. So uh, yeah, let's try the high gain sound. <laughs> The Prince of Tone does have two tiny switches uh, and a trim pot. One of those little switches will give you a low mid boost that is on right now all the time because I kind of felt that it needs it to match um, or even get close to the King of Tone. So uh, that switch is on and the other one is called Turbo and Turbo gives you just more gain. So that is off. The presence knob, which both the King of Tone and the Prince of Tone also has, um, is like on 2 out of 10. I cannot help myself, I have to gun both of these. Okay. Such a good sound! Oh my god, I'm so... I, I love these things. Yeah, clean boost. Let's grab a strat. That's the guitar without pedals on. Okay, king of tone. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense to use tons of delay and whatnot in a gain pedal comparison video, but I just have to enjoy myself for a sec. It's such a beautiful sound. I cranked the clean boost setting on both of these pedals to around like, what is it, three o'clock? And um, I have the Nemesis delay and a tape delay setting. <laughs>
What I want you to write in the comment section is your take on it, your opinion. Is this difference worth? Is it so much prettier that you would just, you know, go for it and wait long for the King of Tone and pay the extra cash for a um, US built pedal? Or would you just say, whatever, they are so close. If I only had the Prince of Tone, I would love it as much as I love my King of Tone now. But since I do have the King of Tone, it just has that, you know, few percent on top the extended low end the um that sort of clarity in the mid-range and the chimey top um you know like presence um all three are just a tiny bit better for my taste than the prince of tone so um you know as told before don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and uh we will meet down there in the comment section take it easy chris out cheers